sure she can enter my world, watch your clothes. And when I'm through, oh, why not have it go? Take your time, study in. You can do it by sure she can enter my world, watch your clothes. Start. Hey guys, it's Shoshi from Shoshi's Minis. What's that? <laughs> I don't what know. Was pause for? I think I thought I was starting when I was, I don't know. I mean, you started the music. Usually I start the music before I talk. And so I got all. Anyway, hello, Bacon Assault, Ashkin Lane, Black Skull, 1965, and Cat Leanne. Welcome. I'm so glad you guys are here because we are going to paint some eyeballs up. You guys will be. You will, <laughs> you'll be up to your eyeballs and eyeballs by the end of the stream. You'll know 100% how to paint them. Um, so we have, let me do a overhead. Right here, this is a faceless horror and I think it goes on, let me see. I always have trouble figuring out how this goes on. It's got sort of a weird, hold on this way, yeah. Oh. I just have to look. Hmm, hang on now, let me look. 
So we've got the link to the faceless horror. Here we go. All right, so that's, I think it goes, there we go, like that. I think that's how it goes, or no. Err. We'll figure it out, there, like, like that. It's, it's a faceless horror. There's no face, but there's a million eyes. And we're gonna count how many eyes, it's got a lot of teeth too. It's a gibbering mouther, it's a, I think it, that's like I trademarked think, or Yeah, something. gibbering mouther might be trademarked. Um, and there's all kinds of cool things on this figure um, that are awesome. So if you've ever wanted to paint one of these for your D&D &D campaign, or just even learn how to paint eyes, you can get this from Reaper Minis. And it is very cool. Yes, lots of eyes. I think you ate one of those at Waffle House once. <laughs> so, um, so there's some. I'm so this this is a fantasy creature, obviously. So you know you can do all kinds of different um, different colors. I would. I was gonna maybe think about doing them either like a purple or a, or a, um or green. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? And so, yes, lots of eyes. And what have you guys been doing? What did you do this weekend? Also, because uh, what did we do? We we didn't do a lot this weekend, did we? This past weekend? No, yeah. I had that I online did a little, con. Yeah, Mike did, a, Mike did an online uh, RPG con and played with uh, Pathfinder. Was it Pathfinder? Starfinder. Starfinder. Okay. I don't think I ever saw You Will Never Know. Oh, okay. Because he plays that too. Ah, uh, okay. Same thing. Hey, You Will Never Know. Kazaya, or cause, is it Kazaya? Kazia? Bacon Assault. <laughs> I love that name, Bacon Assault. Pixel Cruncher, hi. All right, so I've got, I made myself a dry brush. So you can see I cut off an old brush. This is, I don't even know what brush this was. At one point, um, it's gotten so much paint on it. But I thought I would make a dry brush with it so that I could kind of figure out where where my highlights and, sh and stuff are gonna be and I'm gonna do that I think I'll do the purple I feel like purple is we'll, we'll start with this violet color and maybe maybe I've got some other colors I can mix with it give me one second oh, over here speak his You'll name never and shall know. Appear. oh my gosh subscriber and it's 14 months in a row. Thank you so much. You will never know. N subscribers. So it's, since this is so far away. Oh, no, you can see it really well. Awesome. You will never know. Happy 14 months. Yes. Um, it is September. We've been giving away subscriptions. We've been giving away um, minis. This is the mini that we gave away in our last stream, you can focus on that. This is a Muse Arado by Dark Sword Minis. We gave this away to um, Big Pop, uh, sorry, Big Papa Minis, I think was the one who won this. And uh, turns out they like live in one of the towns just next door to us too. So that's kind of cool. Sort of a local. Yes. Protomaker, can you make us a shout out command for other streamers? Yeah, we need a, um, like a shout out whenever, whenever I want to shout out a streamer or something. I don't understand. So it'll be like exclamation point S O, which means shout out. And then the person's name is like in there, like a, like a wild card. And then, um, then it'll click the link to their stream. I don't know how to do it, but we'll, at least he knows now how to. We will never, never, wait. I'm totally guess, messing this up. N-V-R-K-N-O. There. You will never know. Got you. <laughs> Red's purple's kind of muscle look. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to start with this violet, and then I'm going to mix a little bit of awesome nightshade purple. Actually, nightshade purple might be my first color. You guys know I love this color, the purple of all blacks. And I've cleaned my desk, so that is both a good thing and a bad thing. <laughs> it's bad because I have trouble finding things after I clean my desk. And it's good because I clean my desk. Here, this is what I was looking for. This is, I actually got this from Reaper Minis. 
It's a T pin, like a dissection pin that you can, with like a little pewter skull on it. You can buy those from Reaper. I don't know if they sell them in their shop or not, but you can go there and buy them for sure. All right. And again, I'm using my cruddy brush to try, and I've got it primed with a little Steinal Res. Yeah, that cover's nice. So because this is kind of a chill stream, we have lots of time to chat, and you can ask all kinds of, you know, how-to questions of me. I'll have lots of time. Yay, hype! What happened? Oh, okay, so... Oh, he hyped himself. That's cute. Um... But yeah, you can ask me questions about, you know, products I use and techniques that I do use and kind of Q&A as well as we can like learn all about this, how to do eyes and these teeth for sure. And I'm all about the fast painting. So I'm hoping to get this entire, look at this entire guy done in this stream. So, oh, I remember what I did this weekend. I went and canvassed for a Congress person who's running for Congress because that's very important to me. I've always been involved in that kind of stuff since, gosh, since, probably since 2004. I kind of just uh, and really enjoy dealing with people. And um, I have a background in phone sales and sales and so... Um, enjoyed phone banking and that kind of thing as well. So, look at how fast it paints. Am I going to do the eyes like human eye? We'll do. We'll try to do a bunch. Black skull. There's so many eyes. We. That's one of the awesome things about this figure, is we can do. We can do. The, why don't we make a little list? We'll get a little list going, and we'll try to do a bunch of different types. We'll do different colors too. Humanoid gem style. You're gonna have to give me a picture of that black skull. Can you whisper me a picture of gem style eyes? Cause I, I don't think I've ever heard of that. Gem style, glowing. Yep, we'll do some OSL glowings with the G. There we go. What else? We can do beast eyes, demon eyes. What other kinds of eyes? Yay, shout out to Rainer. Is he here in the chat? No. Oh, you're just testing? Yep. Awesome. It's built in. Oh. Turn it on. oh. Only moderators can do it is how I said it. Oh, sweet, good. Yeah, that's good. That's typically what most um, chats have moderators being able to do that. The reason why you want to use kind of a junky brush on something like this is because this will really tear up a nice brush. It's just so um, textured. You want something that's going to get into the crevices and an old brush or just like this, this sort of brush is perfect for that. See? It's a faceless horror. I think another it's like it could also be like a Jubilex demon. Hamster eyes. Uh, goat eyes I could do. I don't really know what, what would hamster be, like beady eyes. Yeah, we could do, we could do like beady eyes. Um, goat eyes. I like that lizard eyes. Some of these are going to be similar. Like I, ha I kind of have a feeling like lizard and beast would be, Kind of similar, maybe different colors. Cat's eyes. Cool. Monster cat eye, yep. Bug eyes. But I don't, so most of these are ovoid eyes, and so I don't, I mean, I don't think I could get bug eyes on that. Maybe that would go under beady eyes, you think? 
All right, I'm almost done with the base coating with the nightshade purple. Did you just go get a snack? Oh, he's... Oh. <laughs> we have a neighbor who is from Taiwan that I met while I was fishing, and she brought us over these little pineapple cakes, and Mike is uh, snacking on them because I can't have them because of my wheat intolerance. She said that she would bring me something that doesn't have weed in it. All right, that looks well coated to me. I've got to rinse this off and I only have one paper towel left. This is my last paper towel. Okay, good, it's getting clean. The water is dirty, so that's okay. Unseeing eyes. <laughs> Since I'm working on the Frost Giant, okay, let's let's try Frost Giant eyes. Giant, there we go. Hey CJ, how are you? Welcome, welcome to the chat. Blind eyes. Yes, we could do blind eyes. Um, uns oh, uns that one she meant by unseeing eyes. Okay. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, we'll try that. We've got, like I said, we got a million eyes. I want you to keep track of how many eyes I do. Does anybody have a little piece of scratch paper they can put tally marks on? All right, so the other important thing when you're working on eyes is to get a really nice sharp brush with a really good point to it. So I'm looking for a couple brushes that will do that. This is a good one. This is one of my spell crow brushes. This is one of my Scale 75 brushes. Now, Julio Cabos recommends you use the miniature series of Winsor Newton brushes, and I don't know if I have any of those. Let me see. Oh, I do, wait, maybe. Or maybe not, okay. So the point is just make sure you've got some nice sharp brushes. I've got a this is a, so here's the other thing. Synthetic brushes tend to be a little more stiff. This one's a synthetic. And sometimes those are also really helpful in painting eyes. October Studio, welcome to the class. Thank you so much for following. Wait, Orthober, Orthober Studio. Awesome. New followers are gonna go right here. And if any of you guys, including new or, uh, so or, Orthober Studio, if you uh, have any ideas for different kinds of eyes you'd like to see me try to paint. Oh, or, wait, I'm gonna make sure to spell this. Orth, Orthober, yeah, that's right. Studio, there we go. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Yes, and let's hype the new followers. I like that. All right, so purple. Before we even get to the eyes, we need some kind of basing. Base coat, rather, sorry. We're gonna just dry brush this. I mean, you guys, I'm sure some of you have seen dry brushing. Get some paint on your brush. Make sure the brush is dry. See how I wipe off a lot of the paint, but you can, I can still, and I'm just gonna, it's like you're going to just hit the highlights of your creature. It's already got that lovely um, color of dark, uh, what is it, nightshade purple on there. So see, this is, this is the speed painting. And I can add a little color. I can add a little bit of sunset purple. I think we're gonna go with purples and kind of fleshy colors eventually. Can, it's almost like wet blending, wet blending. Make sure to get most of that off. There we go. Oh, I need to stay on cam. Can you make sure I stay on cam, Mike? I need to, there we go. Ooh, I like that. Ready. 
Gamer Dad, NC, thank you for the host. Good to see you. You're on my TV. I love this technology. That's awesome. I, um, that's actually how I watched Twitch for the very first time. Mike and I found the people from Twist Gaming. They weren't even called Twist Gaming back then. And we watched them play Kingdom Death. That was the, I think the first time I ever interacted with anybody on Twitch. And then after that, I started following Flick and started watching Twitch from my phone. Okay. So now all of those dark spots that we ended up painting as a base coat have now turned into our shadow because we're, we're highlighting with the dry brush um, just the, the highlights, right? That just the, We're highlighting the highlights. Such a technical term. <laughs> You're my, I'm your first Twitch. You can't find Sam yet. Sam, oh, um, I don't know their Twitch name. I don't. Oh, Sam, 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 Sam. Wait, wait, wait. That's a good question. So does anybody know um, Sam, Sam Lenz's Twitch? I'm happy to promote him because he's a really good friend of mine. All right, on the inside of this mouth, this is, did you say this is like a gibbering mouther? Yeah. Okay, I think that's what I will. We won't use it because it's trademarked. We don't want to get a DNC, DNC? DMCA. D DMCA. <laughs> Samson Arts. It's all one, yeah, it's all one, one word, I believe, right? Oh, I keep, I need to shake it. <laughs> October Studio just add a ton of alcohol to the miniature. What did I miss? Oh, I think I got it covered. Mutual Friends of Sam. Awesome. Yes, Sam is awesome. My buddy. All right, this is the kind of, I used the, what do we use? Pink Flesh. I'm going to use this on the inside where the Gibbering gums are, sorry, faceless horror gums. It's gonna keep getting lighter and lighter as, ooh, that had a little bit, a little bit of paint on the brush left, didn't it? There is a little skull down here. We're gonna paint him too. Just because this is an eye tutorial, we're gonna paint, we're gonna go through the whole thing. I'm going to mix a little bit of this pink flesh with a little bit of this purple because I feel like, yeah, we're going to just, there we go. I'm looking for the little maw, little mouth. Okay, that needs to dry because that is too wet. We're gonna just hit some of the highlights with this color so you'll be able to see things better. Do I need to hold this closer? When we start doing the eyes, I'm gonna need maybe you to might zoom in just a smidge, Mike, because I'm I wanna be able to see the eyes really good. Ooh. So the other reason for using the pink on this right now is because sometimes you wanna highlight up two steps and then Shade it down. So we can shade it down with the, the purpley there. See, like that. That's what I mean. You can see there's a big eye right there. That'll be a good one for that giant eye that we talked about. All right. I think that might be good enough. I love D&D &D figures and you know, you can paint them really fast because they're just meant for the tabletop and you can make things look really good for, for tabletop. Okay, let's look for an eyeball. Yay, Metamune, you're crashing this mini party. Thank you so much for the, for the tip. Oh my gosh, 
Wow, thank you. That is so generous. Let's give some hype to Metamune. Oh my goodness, that's so sweet. You're his plinth dude, October. Oh, we're gonna have to exchange information in Orthober Studio because I, I, have, I need a plinth dude also. I hope that Sam won't mind sharing. I have, I have a plinth dude here in town, but they don't really understand the mini, the mini world as well as maybe more other ones. Two bowls and then put them together. Wait, oh, it, I, I see, I got lost. Okay, let's look for an eye. I'm gonna paint this eye right here. Can you see it right there, this eyeball? All right, glasses are off. Is am I on cam, Mike? Yeah, you're covering the lights with your hat. I know. How's that? Not much better, is it? Uh, a little better. All right. The first thing I need to do, I'm using this black. I'm gonna take my hat off for a second. And I'm just gonna lower it a little bit. Oh. There you go. Okay, that's actually perfect for me too. <laughs> yes. Now I can see. Paint the entire eyeball dark colored. I'm gonna paint a few of these so we can do a few in a row. I'm gonna look for all the eyeballs. Paint a few in a row. Okay. So many eyeballs. There's like That? Yep. There we go. Got a whole bunch right right there. Okay. That's a good start. Now for the first eyeball, I want to use a non-white light color. And what that means. I think I'm gonna need a, like a Arctic blue and we'll use a little a basic flesh. I'm gonna get out all these like non-white colors for the for some of these. We'll, you can mix these two together. Hang on, I got one more. I'm gonna need a white sands and then I will need a white white for the reflection. This is just, whoa, that does not wanna be on camera, does it? Woo. All right. So we're gonna start out with this Arctic blue. Put that on my palette. I'm gonna put a little bit of pink flesh. Um, no, not pink flesh, basic flesh. Put a little bit of that on my palette and I'm going to I'm gonna see what happens when I mix those. Oh, you cannot. Maybe Mike can help me with that a little bit. Let's see what happens when I mix those a little bit. Ooh, that's perfect. It's sort of a cold, cold white color. It's weird. It kind of turned into a. It's weird that those two mixed together equal kind of a like a weird cold gray. But that's what I want. Ah, Sam did this to me. Now I'm a wood hoarder. Every day I search for, at work you, uh, so I search every, at, every day at work for more, grabbed a chainsaw to procure more today. That's so cool. What is your regular job, uh, Orthober Studio? Metamune says, I thought that was a, a bush. Oh yeah. It does kind of look, it's, a, it's an eyeball bush. That's funny. Hi, Pixie Lou. Hello. Let's do shout out for Pixie Lou. She is going to be one of my Adepticon homies. Got a group of us that are going to be staying together for Adepticon. She is one of them. All right. So leave a, leave a little black outline on your eyeball here. See how it's it's not 
It's not white white. You don't want to use white white for eyeballs. And leave a little outline there. See? And then just like it's a highlight, you're going to have a little bit brighter. So it actually has that ball shape. You want the brightest part to be at the top. Okay? Let's see if you can see that. I'll hold it still. That. Yay! Thank you, Mike. You have a chunk of beach today, plinth with uh, a natural hole all the way through the middle. That's cool. Hi, Trillian. Super Sarah. Hi, everybody. It is good to see everyone today. All right, so now I'm going to take just some of the blue without the peach, and I'm going to show you the difference when you just use, ooh, just use the blue. Not a big difference, I don't think. You'd have to tell me if you think it's a big difference. It seems like it's a little brighter. So that means we can go over here and look at that, boom. So use the desaturated part and then use the blue as the final. So that's your eyeball. I need to blend it a little bit. Put another layer. All right, and then, now let's see what happens when I just use a little bit of this peach color, maybe with a little bit of birch. This is more of a yellowy color. The thing is, don't use white white. Always use an off white or a very, 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 very light pastel color for eyes. And the reason why is you don't want things to look bug-eyed or surprised. I mean, unless you want that look, but it'll, white, white will be too, it'll be too much. So this is a way more yellow right here. Like I said, you will be a master of eyes by the time you get done with this guy. Let's do one more eye with a little bit more peach in it. I'm going to make this one more obviously peach. I leave that little black ring around the outside. Okay, so now I want you guys to look here. This is our steps. So step one is you're going to make the entire eyeball all black, right? The whole ovoid, ovoid. Then step two is you're going to paint that ovoid. I'm gonna go ahead and um, paint, make this black and then we'll paint on top of it so you can see what step two is. This is the kind of generic way of painting. I believe I learned this from Meg Maples and I believe she also has a tutorial on her website somewhere with the same steps. But you can also go on DeviantArt and a whole bunch of other places that you know digital artists are making tutorials all the time. So this is, this is my second step here. See how I, and if you guys have any other steps that you use, please feel free to chime in and tell me what your trip, well, because we have so many eyes to practice on here. We can try different, different people's methods and see, you know. All right, that's step two. What differences do you make for warm eyes versus cool eyes? So if I, like a warm eye, um, that's when I use like that peachy color. That's a, when you somebody might like look a little bit bloodshot. Um, eyeballs are actually flesh colored anyway, just extremely pale and transparent. Exactly. So yes, 
because in, and the reason why they're that color is because they have all the same ves blood vessels and veins that skin has. So eyes are actually not solid colored. They have the different, um, they're a little bit translucent, right? Sure looks like a mess of death and teeth, exactly. <laughs> All right, step three. This is the part you wanna pay attention to. Um, Mike, can you like do a um, face cam real quick? So I want you to look at my eyes or look at, look at your own eyes in the mirror. And when, you, when I'm looking straight ahead, I'm relaxed. The upper lid is covering the, 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 um, the circle of my iris. And the bottom of my iris is generally, if I have normal eyes, resting on top of the lower lid. So let's go ahead and do dust cam again. So when I draw, it's a semicircle. Oops, I should have done that on this other one. <laughs> so when I draw my semicircle, it is going to be resting on top of the lower lid and then partially covered by the upper lid. This is very simplified. It's not 100% like this, but this is, if you're gonna do these tiny eyes, it's a good way to practice it. So I'm gonna take dark color. The question you have is, what is my sweet spot number for layers of glazing metamune? That is a good question, because I don't, I don't really know, because I, I'm lazy and I don't glaze a lot. What differences do you make for, oh wait, we said that. Artie Wolf says I've been, oh, you've been so busy with work you can't even lurk. Oh, I'm sorry. Artie Wolf, that's too bad. Ash Can Lane says I start my human eyes like a cat pupil, then correct by adding eyelids. Yeah, that's another way to do it as well. No need to try to get perfect, yes. We can show that as well. I like, I like that. Okay, so. I like to paint on miniatures. Are you singing? Uh. Okay, so this one's looking up. So there's a little space, but I wanna do, let's do this one to the side. Also, that's another thing to think about. If you are not very good and don't have a steady hand, paint the, paint the eyes looking to the side. It's so, much easier and it can make for a really expressive mini too. So we'll make this one going to the side and this one will make like a cat, cat eye shape. See that one? And this one we will, we'll go ahead and make this one, a, I'll try to make this one so that it's all the way down I usually try to do the outline first, and then I can go ahead and like correct. There we go. All right, so you can see that this one was very dark and it's very hard to see the iris. So I can go, go in with a little bit of a, or sorry, not the iris, the conjunctive. What is this called? The um, the white sclera, sclera. Oh, that's the egg. Albumin is egg white. You're gonna learn all these technical terms on my chat today. I think it's sclera. There we go. So we made that a little brighter. So you can you can correct the edges of your eye. If you don't, if you don't get the iris just right. All right, let's pick some colors. What colors of this first eye? What do you want to see? Hello, Sailor Lion. How are you? Dark Zero Warrior. We are the Borg. You are assimilated. Your channel will adapt itself to us. That's funny. Did we get raided? Yeah. Awesome. Diomedes Suchy Industries. Kuchy. Oh, I know those guys. Suchi Kuchi. They are, um, 
Are you guys both, you're both leather workers, right? I believe so. Welcome to everybody from Suchikuchi and Diomedes Industries. They are creative streamers. Go ahead and give a shout out. I like those guys a lot. Yay. Hey, I haven't seen you guys in a while. You are here from leatherworking. Speaking of leatherworking, I've been trying to um, watch um, on Hulu the um, Naked and Afraid because uh, Diomedes Industries has a buddy, a friend that has... Um, that has one of his uh, sheath, wet, like a... Aw, uh, Mark Swaxler, thank you for the follow. Let's write down your name. We are having September, by the way. And when, when it, see when this number right here, look in this corner. Do we, do we get do a five, $500 or 500 giveaway yet? Every time we get 100 new followers, we will be giving away a mini. Um, okay, I make need the number Mark Waxler. With all caps, Mark Waxler 1. There you are. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the class. I'll tell you what, if we get to 3,600, I'll also give some subs. Yeah, we'll give some subs. That would be awesome. So, and if, if we, uh, well, we could probably do a giveaway as well. We've got plenty of minis. Definitely. We're painting eyes. Yay! Frozen toes. Thank you for the follow. Let me spell this right. Frozen toes. Yay! <laughs> All right, so we're on this step three. In step four, we have now the iris part, the color part. And you're gonna leave a little ring around the iris. And that's only on the larger eyes you wanna do that on because on the smaller eyes, you're just gonna probably make this and maybe the color. And so let's do, let's see, let's just pick this purple color because I have it here. And I'm gonna show you right like this. See, so I'm leaving that black ring, ooh. It's got a glare. Anyway, I'm leaving the black ring around the, uh, there, that's better. Around the edge of the iris. And we're gonna do, let's, so the other thing I was told is you want to make a very bright, very bright color. Like, let's do erotic green. That's a nice bright color. Another good bright color that you could do for eyes is um, bright blue, you want to use like a turquoise. Um, what have I done? If you want to make brown eyes, you want to use actually orange. That will make a good brown eyed figure. Bag of minis! <laughs> so, could you wish? I'm glad I could raid you with Diomedes. Okay, you have a good dinner. There we go. Oh, I just. I need to shake this more. I just got all of the medium out. Roddy green, exactly. What is it? Diomedes, this is a faceless horror, or I guess in trademark terms, it's a mouthing, what is it? A gibbering mouther, right? And uh, I never can figure out how to put this part of the mouth on. But yeah, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, it's a gibbering mouther. <laughs> Wicked Queen of Vice, thank you. Why are you laughing at me? Just your ability to try to put that together. I know. Wicked Queen ass a vice. Wait, a, a vice? A vice? That's awesome. Let's see. Avis. Woohoo! Thank you for the follow. Yes, you know what it is. All right, We're pay there's like a million eyes on it though, Diomedes, so it's a great tutorial mini to practice eyes on. So we've got a few started here. I'm gonna use this green to paint this center. Oop, nice cat hair will get in the way. 
Right. We haven't used our cat hair emote in a while. So sometimes it's best to just kind of tap, tap the color in. See how bright that is? First eye. And the second eye will make blue, we'll make it this turquoise blue. We're gonna we've got this list of all the different eyes we're gonna try to try to get done here. See there? And I'll go ahead and make this one blue also just for kicks. You can see, because that one's to the side, this one's in front. Okay. Now, step number five. And we've got our color in here. So let's say we use the green. And you might get really detailed. I usually try to do the pupil up at the top because at this scale, it's gonna look okay that way. If you can center it, that's fine, but if you can't, try to do it up toward the top. Let's see what happens when I can center it. And again, you can tap to try to make a pupil. And if you mess up, you just go back to the last step. Because I feel like I'm gonna mess this one up. See? Give me one second, I'll check chat. That's pretty good. This is probably the 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 point of the the point of the steps where you wanna use a really sharp, sharp brush or you want to use that miniature series brush. Ah, there's another cat hair. There we go. Yeah, so I'm already noticing that this brush is splitting a little bit. It's not the kind of brush you want to use on eyeballs. Okay, That's, that is step five. Let me check chat while I have my glasses on. Remember, so mini has been online for 45 minutes and 90 for 49 seconds. How did you do that, Mark? Mark Mark Waxler. That's funny. Sub assembly. Cat hair is both a fashion accessory, accessory and a condiment. My daughter has decided to smear lipstick. Oh no. What can you do to get that off? Um, get a paper, paper towel and a hair dryer. That should help because it's wax it's wax based. Make sure to like you're gonna need some kind of grease relief, kind of like yeah, dish dawn dish dish detergent. Dark Zero Warrior, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the class. Dark Zero. So great, so many new followers already. All right, you can see the eyeballs are already following us around. Next, this is where you want some, the little reflection. This is what makes things look alive. Where is my pen? Step six. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and paint that in. Now, if you can, at this stage, you can feel free to get really fancy and paint, you know, as much as detail into those eyes as you can, or you can just make one reflection dot. And I always try to make it inside the pupil 
but partially onto the iris. Okay? Just like that. That's what makes it look alive. So now with the Sharp Sharp brush, oopsie, here we go. So it kind of made, kind of messed that one up a little bit. A little bit. So this is where you go back in and you start the new step. Oh, we had a follower. TNT522, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Matt Waxler, I'm an elite moderator for Twitch and I currently mod for well over 100 streams for Twitch if you want. Oh, that's nice. You can hook up my channel. What is an elite moderator? I've never heard of that. I don't know, but he can't spell elite. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Give him a hard time. Especially because he's using all caps. Yep. Okay. Hold on one second. Um, I missed. TNT522. Aw, Crawford St. James just subscribed. Awesome. A gift from Trillion. <gasps> Thank you for gifting that, Trillion. That's so sweet. That is good, because we are doing September giveaways this, this, uh, hold on, Crawford St. James. That's awesome. Elite Mod Scam. <laughs> I like that Diomedes Industries Leet. I'm glad that not, not just me remembers Leet Speak. Wait, I missed something up here. You were gonna play some Diablo, but this is holding your attention way better and makes you wanna play my Mountain King. Awesome! I'm so excited that you are enthralled. Okay, I'm gonna go back here and fix this. Cause my... You're off screen. Ah! My little reflection got too, too big. That's probably good enough. Next little reflection dot is going to go on this side. If you want to get all fancy and anime, you can start adding extra reflections. I think that this brush might not be sharp enough. There we go, that's better. I'm so glad that you're here. We have a lot of fun in this chat, and we also, uh, oh my goodness, no. All right, I'm, I'm, ca I'm canceling this brush. This brush is canceled. Because. We're canceling the apocalypse. <laughs> is that from something? Yes, Pacific Rim. Oh, Mike went to that movie, I did not. <laughs> Remember this eyeball over here? Let's do yellow. Cause I feel like it needs to be like a yellow cat eye. It already has a nice little uh, sharp cat eye reflection in it, or not reflection, pupil. Since it's yellow and yellow is fairly transparent, we just need to color the white part and boom, nice little cat eye. All get... right, Mark, turn off the caps lock. <laughs> That's your warning. There we go. Thank you, Mike. All right, let's do some quick little teeth. I'm gonna use an off-white color because it'll have a little, little bit of yellow in it. It'll look really good against this purple. There we go. Rawr. Don't want to run into one of these in the dungeon. Pointy teeth. Yeah. Mm. Okay. 
I like how there's an eyeball inside the mouth. All right, that is all the teeth. And there's another, there's another eyeball down here. Shall we make it a, like a red beast eye? Let's see. So that one I would start, I would start with like an Indian shadow and we're gonna gradually get up more, more and more red and more and more kind of flame color. You want to you want to see the dentist when the faceless horror gets of age and needs dentures? Oh my gosh. All right. We want everyone to enjoy chats, so there we go. All right, so this was red. All right, so this goes in this eyeball right here. So anybody counted how many eyes we've done? One, two, three, four, this is the fifth. We've done one yellow eye. I've got to sneeze. Oi. Sorry, guys. Bless you. I hope nobody was wearing headphones there. <laughs> and Tari's red. And then got some yellow already on the palette, so we'll, oop, this needs to be shaked. Shaken. Faceless Horror has to get a real retail job to pay for his dentures. Yes, that would be funny. I just finished painting 40 plus eyes on Twilight Celestial. Oh, Tim Fizz, that's cool. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> that was an enjoy. <laughs> you should hear my not so adorable sneezes. Oy vey. All right, so I started with the the Indian shadow, and now we're going over the center of the eye mostly with this red color. So that way it'll have some depth, right? We'll do a few, we'll do a few of these like little red demon eyes. I think we'll do this one over here also. Start with the dark color here. And we'll do another big one over here. So then, like I said, you gradually, you can kind of wet blend. That's, that's a little bit more red in the middle. A little bit more red. I think we'll have a few of these all over the place. I think it'll look good. And I'm now a little yellow. Hopefully this will work in the center. Yes, yes. Oh, we have a cheer. Who cheered? Aw, oh, Kazia, thank you so much. Wow. Super Sarah, I got all the eyes painted on mine, started on the rest, but kind of gave up the rest. Wasn't fun. Wasn't as fun to paint the eyes. I'm sure you'll finish it one day. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so this last one, a little bit more yellow in the middle. See, that looks cool. And then we can glaze over it with just a smidge. Somebody asked me what are the perfect number of glazes. And like I said, I'm not much of a glazer. So that's a, that's a difficult question for me. Let me get that tooth. I got red on it. But yes, feel free to ask me any kind of painting questions. Even if I don't know the answer, I will try to answer, try to tell you what I think. I'm gonna give this, I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a highlight right here so it kind of looks like a nose. Isn't that cool? 
and we can go all the way up to the flesh color as well. A little bit of a uh, dry, a little bit of wet blending in that. I like to make kind of like little faces in him. All right, so now we're gonna glaze back over now that this is dry over the yellow. Ooh, it kind of got away from me, went into the recesses of the eye. I didn't want that. There we go. Wicked Queen Abbas wants to know your experience with OSL. Any tips? Oh, and yes. Luminous also wants to asking if you ever put a gloss varnish over eyes to make them yes. look more glassy, fluidy. Yes, that would be in that we have this. Um, I love this. I buy this all the time. It's super cheap. It's like, what, three bucks or something like that. Um, triple thick, brilliant brush on gloss glaze from Americana. You can get it at like any craft store. And I use this all the time. What I really like about it, I think it's non yellowing. So some, some of these glosses will yellow. So this one, I don't think it does. But yeah, I do. I do like to put the gloss varnish on the top. In fact, we will put some on the palette right now. And we've got a few eyes finished. And then what was uh, Wicked's question? Oops. About OSL, do you have any tips? Yeah, um, we've got a couple videos too on YouTube that you can check out. Um, basically what we do when we do OSL is we will, it's, um, we'll do some dry brushing. Shall we do an eyeball with a little like glow to it? That'll help you kind of get an idea. So let's do a purple, let's do a purple glow on this eye. So this is the, where I'll start with white. This is the one time I will go ahead and use white is when I want something to really, really glow. Okay. Now we need our little dry brush. We've got, I've got a couple of them. This is, I make these dry brushes by chopping off an old brush. Just going to take a little bit of white. Hopefully get it on my pan. Wipe it mostly off on your paper towel and on the, around the edges of the eyeball. I'm hoping to do this. This is our OSL. You want sort of a little halo of, of white. So this is how I would start my OSL. Now there's other eyeballs on this, so not all of these are going to end up staying white, but for the next color, get my purple out and glaze over that white that was on there. I'm going to glaze over the, um, white on the white of the eye as well glaze means like mostly water so it's going to be thin and so that white is going to shine through this is probably not the my favorite not my best example ever but you're going to get the idea now with my white again so i can pick out the center of the eyeball. See, that sort of looks glowing, doesn't it? What do you think, Mike? Does it look glowing? Yeah. Good. I pay Mike to, to tell me yes. Just kidding. No. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, does that help? So like if I were going to, now I want to go back and highlight the surrounding pieces that glow. That particular eyes is given a glow. 
I really hope that makes sense. Going back in and picking out the purple to be a little bit brighter here. Now let's do the teeth. I'm using that off-white. Ah, too much water. That one I did not want to be glazed. Sometimes it gets away from me. So here's the teeth. And what I'll do is, if I want it to look like the teeth have that purple glow on them, I'll need to go back and add just a little bit of a glaze of purple on top. That, not the ones farthest away, because obviously those, those would not have the glow on it. That makes sense. Okay, so now, watch. Go back. Pick out the little bit of purple glaze on the sides of the teeth where that purple light is trying to glow on top of those teeth. Trying to make it a little bit more obvious now with the with the white as well. Okay, I hope that helps. Again, not not the best example, but we tried it. <laughs> I hope that helps. Yes, you've been glowed. Nice to see it OSL worked live rather than a static pig tutorial. Yeah, um, so there are a few other t uh, tutorial videos you can go and watch. I, d I showed a lot of Kingdom Death tutorials where I did a glow on the lanterns and stuff. Um, hold on, I'll, I'll go get one of the minis and you, I'll show it to you. Be right back. So this one, we've got a glow here. Oh, that is a really washed out. Can we adjust color at all, or is that gonna be, is that better? There we go. So you can kind of see, I've got a little bit of a glow on his leg of yellow from, from the lantern. And it's based, you start out with like white and then you glaze it with the yellow. Does that make sense? And then imagine, so this is my light source. There's a like, how would I do this? So imagine like this is a like my halo of light. You want the light in the center so that, let me draw it. Here's the, here's the, oh, no, let me do that, yeah. So this is my light source right here is the epicenter and then you've got this imaginary halo of light and that's how you imagine everything in that small halo is getting hit with this sphere of light and it gets you get the hard shadows that's kind of one of the things about OSL is you need you need hard shadows to really pull it off. So some of the places on here didn't really get hard enough. So some of this would actually be much, much darker. Right? To make him feel like he's emerging from darkness. See there. Sometimes I'll give these guys like a little bit of a, um, there, so that'd be a little bit darker. See how his leg is super dark up here and then it's bright right there. That's more accurate. This whole part would be dark as well. I really recommend, um, who is it? Um, 
was it Vince Venturella? Somebody did a, a an OSL t um, Survivors video as well, and I, I followed it because I had a client that actually wanted me to use it for my painting, and it worked out awesome. Okay, so this is, again, my dark purple, and I'm just going to make this crazy demon eye over the center of it. And why is it so thin? It's sometimes with a wet palette. Here, I'm going to use black for this. This is Vallejo Model Color Black. Oh, my goodness. You see that's twisted out the top. Let's see if I can get the... There we go. Nice. All right. Sometimes black is the right color for the job. It's really annoying wants to know how in the name of God does your glazing not have distinct lines between colors even when you are adding to already dry paint? Gosh. Um, <laughs> how? This dramatic reading brought to you by Proto. Yeah. <laughs> Let me think. So how, it's possible that you um, aren't able to see it with your eyes because the um, the TV is, is blurring it out and you're, it looks smooth. Because trust me, there is a little bit of a line. I think that might be the reason. So I'm gonna go back in here and get the edges of this eyeball there, see? But yeah, I would say, let me get this eye as well. I think, I think that you can see. I think, I mean, I, I, it's your eye is, is blending it. And maybe the computer or the computer or the TV is, see, even the cat eye will have a little of a, little bit of a reflection but I'm not a huge blender you know that trillion I don't I don't create I don't go crazy on my blendings so that's sort of glowy over there that's cool all right We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I really love this. This um, I'm going to paint the reflection or the um, the rest of these eyes and teeth with a little bit of this gloss because it really looks good with it. Feels more alive with the gloss on it. Wow. I like make do you guys like make sound effects with your monsters? Speaking of monsters, Dark Sword is sending me a big batch of monsters to paint for the channel. I'm excited. Shall we do some more teeth? Shall we do what color teeth shall we do? We can do we can do let's do let's do the yellow teeth but add a little white. I think that'll be fun. Are you getting an, you got another little pineapple cake? Mike? Yeah. <laughs> Meet me outside, how about that? Catch me outside. <laughs> people like, people like, they come to the channel for the bants, for the banter. That's what we call it, banter in this house. We had a follow, I just heard it. No, nope, we had a subscription. Oh my goodness, Sabat TC. Oh, a lovely day. I didn't realize you're painting a miniature version of myself. <laughs> Raw <Rawr. laughs> All right, I'm gonna write down Sabat TC. He is also a streamer. Well, and he's also a student, so he's not streaming as often as I, oh, I lost my pen. Hang on, I have another one. I have many pens. What? There are many pens. 
<laughs> but this one is mine. <laughs> what is that from? It's a. It's about the uh, Marine Creed and his rifle. Bloody teeth, bloody teeth. Oh, I like that idea. Okay. We'll make we'll make some bloody teeth in a minute here. As soon as I get, I like that idea a lot actually. Yes, we're painting the um, faceless horror from Reaper Miniatures. Maybe we should put some gloss medium on these teeth too. Ash wins the prize. Oh yeah. I like it when my chat knows Mike's little obscure references. Are you laughing at me? Yes! Hey, you're off screen. <gasps> <laughs> He's so mean. I'm not mean. I'm just drawn that way. Yeah. Crap, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. What were you doing? Math. Why were you doing math? Were you counting the eyes and teeth? Yeah, that's it. Okay, wait. Watch this. I'm going to put white down near the t tip of the tooth. Now, there is a line. If you looked up close, you would see it. It's okay. This is, this is a practice mini. The whole point of this mini is to practice on eyes. So, there's n it does not have to be perfect or anything of the sort. I like that. All right, that I really like that. I feel like I need to go back and do all my teeth with the little white ends. All right, so, so I'm trying to figure out how we're going to do some blood. There is a color. Hold on, I'm going to see if I have it. There's a color of red from Baleo Game. It's a technical paint. Hold on. I think I found it. It's called Dried Blood Ga Game Effects. A lot of um, these, um, and it's really, it really looks realistic. It looks like dried blood. We're gonna put that down. It kind of goes on like a wash. And we're gonna put this all around his edges of his teeth. Gross, so gross. Do that. Now I'm going to take just a little water. To blend it just so there's not a hard line. There we go. So gross. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to put some more over here too. I like it. That is scary. So it's already starting to dry a little bit. But yeah, that's um, Game Effects. And there's also a Fresh Blood one too, I think. But this one really looks, it really looks realistic, like dried blood. All right, there's an eyeball right here I wanna paint and there's a, another one in there and there's some more teeth. So, Let's do the blue on the outside here. So, so far, what have we done? Let's keep track. Where did my pen go? Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we did the glowing eye. We did the demon eye. We did the cat eye. We did the humanoid eye. We need to do blind eyes, frost giant, lizard goat, deadly. Did we say, no, beady, beady, beast. I guess we sort of did a beast eye. 
and gem style. Did anybody get, get a whisper to me about what a gem style eye looks like? Because I really don't know. I have no idea. I can't see your whisper. Blood doesn't scare women. <laughs> is, is your going for Crystal Brush Award those painters spend many months Oh, if you're, if you're going for Crystal Brush Award, those painters spend many months or a year to perfect their art. That's true. The one one uh, Crystal Brush piece that I had that went to, you know, past preliminaries, I did spend about a year on it. Um, I don't really like doing that. I don't really like spending a long time on a mini. Um, that one was special, though, so we'll see what happens this next year if I do that again. I don't know. Kind of time is money, you know, and I could be I could be making money instead of uh, painting up a pro, uh, like a competition piece, right? So if it's if I have something that's done, I'll definitely enter it. But if it's uh, I, I probably won't paint it specifically for a competition. I'll just I'll just paint to paint to the best of my ability. Take whatever's done, you know, show off my work. Anything that gets it gets an award, it's awesome. Because, you know, I tried. Alright. Lots of teeth. I think there's almost more teeth than there is eyes on this thing. I'm finding I'm finding a few more eye sockets though. Small ones. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. See that? There's a bunch all over this thing. Protuberance. Is that is that a word, Mike? Protuberance? Protuberance? Po say it again. Protuberance. <laughs> P-R-O. I'm sorry. That just, that cracked me up a little bit. <laughs> up. No, there. Is that Left. better? Left. There you go. Some of these, I can't tell if they're eyes, if they're scales. That's why I'm painting a whole bunch of them. Ah, so I messed that one up. That's okay. We can go back and fix it with the black. In fact, I should have put the black in there first place. And then that's why I'm going back over it now. Okay, I'm gonna look at chat. I know people are chatting. Save so so much time that you tend to paint everything as far as you can. You're mental that way. <laughs> now that's a good idea though. You know, it really tends to push you. You never, Trillian never in, really intends to do competition to paint bulk for games like Myth. Yeah, you know, and honestly, you're gonna get better painting bulk if you push yourself while you're doing it than if you spend a whole year on one mini. Because, you know, Black School says, I'm one of my biggest critics when it comes to painting. I don't need a host of strangers to chime in. Right? All right. Here's the black again for the little irises. I like. Let's do, let's do, let's do this one to just regular. I'm going to do this one to the side. This one is a cat eye. We'll do this one on, let's do that one before I didn't do that. There we um, we'll look at this one looking up. Side. Okay. Then we're going to use the blue and the ivory mixed together for these.
slightly more blue. Up. Better? Mm -hmm. It's a little far away from me, it's hard to see. Is that better? So like I said, this mini particularly, particularly, this mini in particular. Particularly, <laughs> P-A-R-T. Mike! <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> oi, oi. All right, I'm just gonna do, let's see, to this side. In the middle. Particular. Particular. Partic this mini in particular is going to be great for practicing eyeballs because there's so many. So many on it. All right. Now I'm going to use, let's see, let's try another color of blue. Let's try, no, let's try a really bright green. You get to see this one in action. With like, for instance, this mini right here, I used the really bright turquoise because she's, it's so small. Now, technically, imagine this is like seeing somebody across the across a football field. You're not gonna be able to see the color of their eyes from across a football, football field. But if you just want that like wow factor, um, it's nice to be able to say like, look, I painted the eyes. But for something that's small, more than not, your ooh, big cat here, right there. Oop. Ooh, actually, that's brush splitting on me. That's no good. Left. Oh, I forgot. I was going to use the green. Did I even put the green? I didn't put the green on my palette. One second. There we go. Need nine more followers for the gift subs. Oh my gosh, guys. Get your friends. Do a host so that people can see that we're, we're streaming. All right, where am I? I'm over here. There we go. Let's do this eyeball. It can be green. Remember how we have to leave that little ring of black around the edges? That one's a really good example of it. And it looks like I need to go back over these teeth a little bit. While those eyes are drying, I'm gonna add some more teeth. Let's do, let's do some really gross yellowed teeth with these. We did the bloody teeth, we can do some gross yellowed teeth. My my friend and I in fifth grade, what was the name of that toothpaste that you had to buy if you were a smoker, Mike? I have no it's, idea. It started with a T. I don't know. We used to joke about that toothpaste all the time. Oh, good. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna look at chat. Sometimes all these, this is this is like a model full of details, right? Eyes are all details, so it's like I spend most of the chat with my glasses off. I can't see what you guys are saying, Par particularly. <laughs> yeah, that word. Nice. He he only has one D four cognition. Are you kidding me? That's funny. You'd think he'd have. Maybe he is he. Well, he's a demon. Maybe he's just, uh, that's funny. Is he, is he, um, what kind it's of? It's not a demon. It's not a demon? Your brain mouther is, is either an abomination or just a chaotic outsider. Okay. And, um, what level of monster are, is he? Like third level or fourth level. Oh, really? 
That's so boring. <laughs> Did they use to... <laughs> Stop! Make a, make a willpower save. <laughs> or be confused. I think I failed. <laughs> He has a lot of teeth on this side. Hold on. Should we, if we finish this, should we give away the Gibbering Mather, the, uh, the Faceless Horror? I don't know. Did you guys ever, um, see, um, <laughs> Reaper, Reaper made a, a, um, what was, what's the, what's the monster with the one big eyeball? Beholder? The beholder. Yeah. They made it, but they call it Eye Beast. Yeah, because Beholder is trademarked. Trademarked. Just like Displacer Beast. Oh. And uh, Mind Flayer. <gasps> what is another word for Mind Flayer? Um, your mom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Butt Nugget. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to read chat now. Oh, you hit the camera. I hit the camera. There we go. Monstrosity, yes, definitely. None of his eyes actually work? Oh, that, that's true. It doesn't really, I don't think they really have a brain. They're just kind of like a mass of, of a mess. Teeth and eyes. Yeah. There's this little skeleton in here I want to paint in a second here. I want to show you guys. So I'm going to use a wash to paint. I want to use Game Ink Sipia. This is perfect because it's kind of yellowy. Is there a skeleton in there? Yes. There's a skelly right there. Can you see him? Mm. Yeah. He's an adoration according to my husband. What's an adoration? Adoration. Oh. A B B E R A T. Oh, aberration. <laughs> Aberrate, like an ab aberration. Yes. Okay, so see how yellow this is? We're going to take some of this and put it on these teeth over here, but right near the the root, the root of the teeth. Don't say that word. Why? Because it's an it's a bad word in Australian. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do we have any Australians in the chat? That would be cool. Should I speak to them in their language? No. <laughs> Don't embarrass me. Too late. No. Okay, see how these are getting nice and gross? So gross. And then we'll go ahead and I'm putting them, um, making them all yellow for now, and then we can add the. Ooh, I love that. Gross. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Add a little bit of this off white color on the top. Oh, see? Is that on cam? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Apparently, Reaper calls mine flares Bethalian. Oh, really? <laughs> well, they have their own little word for them then. Does Pathfinder have their own word for them? I just can't remember what it is. Oh. What about I Beast? I Tyrant. I Tyrant, that's it. So funny. All right, I'm gonna add just a skosh of white to the edge, because I feel like it needs it, especially since these have white on them. Nice. It's definitely interesting. Hmm. All right. Remember when I had my little dry brushy thing here? And I'll add a little bit of this 
flesh color. Woo, we had another subscriber, oh my goodness. Tyler Badger, 13 months in a row. It's so fantastic. We have some really, really loyal, I mean, I just, that's over a year that you've been with us, Tyler Badger. Thank you so much. Here, let's move the camera so that you can actually see the name. Yay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just highlight some of the business up here. I feel like that needs to be even brighter. It's looking gross. Let's do a little bit of this blue with a little bit of this pink. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh. That's not bad. So I highlighted up, but I think it might be too bright. Oop, that's an eyeball. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, shade it back down with the darker pink. There we go. Much more interesting looking now. I like dry brushing as a tool. I think, oh, I just painted over another eyeball. It can speed things up a lot. More of that pink up in here. My Canadian friend, he makes fun of me because I say pink, like pink instead of pink, pink. I don't know, how do you say pink, Mike? Pink. All right, pink. Yeah, I don't say it like that. Particular. Particular. Gibbering mouther. Gibbering mouther. Gibbering. Gibbering. Gibber, gibber, gibber. <laughs> It has been, I've been online for one hour and 36 minutes and 10 seconds. Gibber. What does that mean? What meta mean? Why, why do we, people want to know that? Gibber. See, I told you. It was yeah, gibber. Also, gibber is also, actually listen to it. Gibber. 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 Okay. But gibber is also uh, allowed. All right. It's a regional thing. It's a regional <laughs> thing. You grew up in the same place, you dork. <laughs> Chew an adventurer once a day to keep the monster tooth decay away. Oh, that's that's great. <laughs> no, Sasha. Thank you so much for the follow. I just saw that you followed. So, um, if you want to also paint eyes, the witch. Um, there's a bunch of witches um, from Kingdom Death that have eyeballs all over their clothing. And I, I did a bunch of videos with those girls, and, and there's a couple guys in that, that um, you might find interesting to paint. There's an eyeball, there's an eyeball here. It's like, we haven't even gotten to the other side yet, there's so many eyes. My goodness, look at all these, holy cow. I think there was like over a hundred eyes. What do we have here? One, two, three. Wait, we gotta finish painting some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so far, and lots of teeth. Oh, I'm gonna get there with the uh, gloss gel in here too. Let's get some gloss gel on these teeth. I feel like we need to put more of this dried blood paint 
on this as well. Yeah, that looks cool. That's cool looking scary. Da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We need more little. For St. James says goodbye. Reflections. Reflection dots. What is the ratio for the black? What is the ratio for the black? Tell me, what do you mean? What's... Like, oh, for the eye? Or for the... Uh. Hmm. Well, let's, let's show you. Let's show So remember when we did our steps over here? You want a semicircle in the middle? You start out with an uh, entire black, and then you do your circle of Five. of color. This is, I don't know, I guess I used, oh wait. I drew on that, that's why it's that way. So this was the, the um, football, football of the white. Then you do your semicircle of, of black, and then color and then if you want to do the pupil and then the reflection so let's let's do one real quick of like a like a blind eye and i'll show you what that'll look like let's do that one right here i'm going to start with my blue it's a very 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 light blue i'm going to make a couple of them over here how's that Bug King. Hey, Bug King. How's it going? Welcome to the chat. Let's do this one in here. Do we have a follower? Subscribed. Yay. The Bug King subscribed 15 months in a row. Has it really almost been a year and a half? Oh, my goodness. And that was even before your name change because I know you've been following me when you were the real bug king oh my goodness thank you so much yes hype in the teeth red <laughs> painting plaque marine pla oh, pl plague marines plaque marines that's another thing these are plaque marines yes brush your teeth <laughs> that's the moral of the of the gibbering mouthers, the gibbering mouthers story. Okay, the color is messed up, Mike. This is way more red than. Let's see, it's supposed to be more like this. It looks gray. He's helping me. Lol, lol, yes, indeedy. <laughs> you need to do green slimy teeth. Yes, let's do that too. In fact, let's do a green, let's just do an entirely green eyeball with a, with a dragon kind of eye in the middle. Let's do this one. Up. That one can be that one. Okay, so we were gonna do the blind eye. So the blind eye, again, we're gonna still, I think what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of black and a little bit of this blue. I'm going to make a gray semicircle. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just trying things out. I'm going to experiment. I make a gray semicircle, and then I'll put, maybe I'll put a white 
semicircle inside that. Yeah, that looks kind of blind. Can you guys even see that? Let's try it with a black semicircle and then see. I feel like it wouldn't be black though. Eight more likes to free subs. Eight more likes, guys, and then we get not free. Oh yeah, five that's right. We're, we're gonna gift five subs to the channel when we get some more likes. Sanjan, welcome. You're just in time. We're hoping to get five more likes, and then we're eight. gonna eight more likes, mm -hmm. eight more new likes, and then we're gonna gift five subs to the channel. And we're painting a a um, faceless horror. I almost said. What? Why are you laughing at me? Because you didn't want to like, say the one that I say, so you're like, I'm just going to say a different word, so they yeah. don't have to worry about it. Yep. Welcome, Sanjin. By the way, let's give him a shout out. His fellow streamer in the house. All right, remember this this dragon eye? We're going to put that straight down the middle. Do you see how I accidentally went over it? That's okay. I can go back with my base color. Ooh, too much water. And cover that up right there. How are you, Sanjin? How was your stream? Do you have a good one? Mm. We're, we're doing lots and lots and lots of eyes on this mini. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yes, Dog Rose likes on Shoshi's channel. Like Shoshi's channel. And Stream was we'll, good, got we'll a lot done. Some subs. Yep, Dog Rose, come and like my channel. Attack Badger is now following. Yay! Yeah, we're going to give away um, subscriptions and we also. When we get those, we're going to give away a mini too, because that once every time we get a hundred new followers, we give away a mini. Glasses off. Okay, yeah, glasses fell off, and that was. Oh, attack badger. Did I write that? I didn't write down attack badger, and we also got hideous heart. And dog rose. Oh yeah. Where is that one? Did I miss it? And hideous heart. Dog underscore rose. Hideous heart. We, we write down, one of the things we do in this channel is we write down names. We also write down subscribers. We try to anyway. Badger, badger bot. Badger, badger bot. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay! <laughs> Way to push us over the edge. Badger. Attack Badger is helping us. Dog Rose, we finally got you. Okay, Badger, Badger, bot. <laughs> Invictus A or Invict USA. Invictus. Invictus A. Okay. It's getting close. Might just do it anyway. Invictus. Invict USA or Invictus A. Uh, um, Glorious Badger. Do we get Glorious Badger? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they followed. No, not on the list. Oh, Glorious Badger. There's a lot of badgers around. <laughs> You're running out of room. Right, smaller. That's true. I need to, we need to figure something out. We'll maybe start a new piece of paper. I, I can magically add more paper. Scala mm -hmm. Grimmer. Grimer? Scala Grimer? Wait, let's do it like this. There's Invictus A, USA, there we go. I think we're gonna get there. How far are we? What are we at right now? Um, oh, not... we're so close. On, um, I'm showing 3,598 followers. This thing doesn't update right away, but I'm showing we only need two more new followers. All right. We'll do, we'll do giveaway and two more follows. What else we were going to do? We're going to gift subs too, right? That's what we're doing. Random gifts, random sub gifts. No, wait, you're going to want to do a drawing too. Yeah, we always do the drawing at a hundred. 
That just do the. We'll do the. We'll okay. do the sub gifts first. Okay. Yep, we're gonna do green slimy teeth, right? Okay. Hold on. First, I'm gonna paint all the teeth up here. I'm having too much fun writing down all the new follower names and bot names. <laughs> I like how people get creative. Teeth, teeth, teeth. Okay. Come on, number update. It's showing on my Twitch. We need two more follows. Two more. And then there's a drawing for the people that are still watching and followers. Yep. And then also some gift subs. Gift subs. Yes, two more. Two more followers. Actually, now the number updated. Two more followers. Yay. Focus. Me? No. Oh. Me. I was like, I am focusing. Those are good teeth. So you're gonna have to run in the counter with the with the with the faceless horror, Mike. He's like, no, this would make a great alien alien for Starfinder. Yeah, maybe. He's like, meh, meh, meh. this could be like a NPC like tavern um, bartender. See, I knew you'd like that. Space dentist. Space dentist. Come closer so I can see your teeth. All right. By the way, I want to welcome everybody from Sanjin's channel. Thank you so much for the follows and for the coming to watch the stream. We, we stream three times a week here. Um, I teach painting. Today we're, we're doing eye tutorials. So for instance, we've got a lot of eyes here. So step one, make the, so all of these little ovoids right here, get the black background first. What do we have left? We have a frost giant eye. I think I would do frost giant eyes blue, I think. There we go. Lots and lots of eyeballs on this guy. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is the the sclera, which is the white part of the eye. Try to make it a little bit football shape, but leave that little line of black on around the edges. not as important on this guy because he's got purple skin. If we don't get two more followers, that means the Europeans will get the prizes. The Europeans? Oh, for two, yeah, that's on right. Friday. We're gonna stream on Friday and all of the afternoon people are gonna get the gift subs. Gift subs and mini giveaway. You guys know you want it. Shall we show you what, what you could, shall we show you what you could win? Hold on, I'm gonna get a mini out and we can see what we can give away. It's painted, right? It's unpainted oh, so they unpainted. can paint themselves. Oh, uh, here we go. Painted by you. Look at this. So not painted. Oh, there's one. Black Tower Terrain one. Nine, what are they called? Bloodstone Gnomes. Vulgars, 
bloodstone gnome adept sculpted by Jason Weeby. There's like nine little guys in here. There's a whole bunch. This is. Stop moving it. Hold on, I'm trying to. Oh, and there's like little stalactites or something in here too. I think. Yep, that's what those are. Little stalactite type, type things. That's interesting. So yeah, that'll be given away if you live outside the continental U.S. I just ask that you help me pay for shipping. But if you live in the U.S., I will just send this to you. So we'll have to give that away today if we get one more follower. Did you write down Black Tower Terrain? I will write it down. Black Tower. Uramas. P-E-R-A-I. N one. Terrain. T E R R A I N. Terrain. I did. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. We got it. We got one more. We need one more. We are at three thousand five hundred and ninety-nine. We just need one more, and we will give away oh, nine. Bloodstone gnomes, which you can kind of see. Can, can we adjust the light of skosh? You stop moving it around. They're not so glary. Much better. They have torches and spears. They'd be great for your D&D &D party. And apparently some spikes, too. I think these are like little spike um, stalactites. Stalactites hold tight. Stalagmites. What? No, that's a thing. It is, but it's not that way. Oh. Stalactites hold tight. If you say stalagmites hold tight, it doesn't work. Stalactites hold tight, and stalagmites might trip you. I yeah, or stub your toe. Stub your toe like or something yeah. like that. Yeah. He just wants to mark me. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. You would never. Never. Tights go down. That's a good way to put it. Tights go down. <laughs> so I know we have some smarties in the in the chat. I knew somebody would know. One more follower. Here we go. Eyeball. <laughs> Bug King says the difference is that slag mice have an M instead of a T. Let's do a, a like a red, a red iris. We'll do that, and then I want to go back and do some more demon eyes. I think those looked really good, so I'm gonna go ahead and paint some of those. Hmm. Let's just do straight red. See what happens. Yeah, I like that. Let's do this one over here, red also. Get your friends. There. <laughs> okay, we need little reflection dots. So this is the, the blind eye I'm going to attempt to do. We'll just do it entirely, entirely white in the center with that little, that doesn't look too bad. I think I want to add a little bit of light blue though. I feel like it's not correct. Ah, oh, there we go. That feels like a blind eye. I think the gray was better though. Okay, pupils. What is going on? Nothing. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get some demon eyes going on here.
Oh, I like that. Let's do some yellow. Yay! Is that the a, that, bug swarm bot. The bug swarm <laughs> bot. Awesome. Bug king. I assume that's his. <laughs> I think so. I think though we we made it. The yes. bug. That's three thousand six hundred. The bug swarm bot. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay, we made it. That means we are. Let's give the subs first. Let's see who gets gets uh, give subs. I'll keep painting while you do that. So, Invictus USA, Mandy on Art, Arthober Studio, yay. Just remember, you can M continue those subs for a buck. Yeah, MU Jedi and John Pride all got gift Mandy subs. Mandy on Art. Yep, I said all those. In fact, let's write all those guys down. USA. Aw, yay. Orthober. So you guys can now use all our, our super cool emotes. Yes. Yes. Okay, Orthober, where are you? Moo Jedi. How do I spell Orthober? Again, I always. O R T H. And then Mandy Art. Wait. Mandy on Art. Mandy on Art. John Pride. And John Pride. All right, I'll open the raffle. Woohoo! Uh, okay, and this is for um, all followers. You got to be a follower to win the win the um, these guys. What's it? Why are they again? Um, can you meet me for one second? Wait, this is washed out. What's, just tell me what it is. What is it? Read it. It says Bloodstone Gnome. All right, Gnome. Gnome is the keyword, so everybody... Hold on, it's oh, not been in there don't yet. Don't do it yet. The bot will tell us when. Look at the 36 updated. Yay! Aw, oh, Bugsy and Gifted Super Sarah. Oh, that's nice. We need to win the can gnomes. Yeah, no tickets. We just get to put the put the keyword in. It's awesome. We do keywords for whenever whenever um, most of the time. I do I either do subscriber keywords or I do we haven't used tickets in a little while. Yeah, type gnome if you want to win. If you want to win chance gnomes. To win. Yeah, a chance to win. Sorry, chance to win. Remember, if you live outside the continental U.S., that I ask that you help me pay for sh for shipping. No, anybody can or any follower can enter Imperium. You have yeah, to be a any follower. follower. You just have to be a follower. So just type, just type it as long as you're a follower. You can win. You can have a chance to win. Sorry, I keep saying that. All right. Let's. I'm gonna make these teeth. Um, what could I use? Let's try. Goblin flesh. This is a nice bright color for sickly green slimy teeth. My music stopped. Yeah, because it's been two hours. Ah. Let's try it again. Or okay. at least until the drawing is done. Ooh, I like those teeth. Those are pretty gruesome looking. See if I can make it look like there's like green slime dripping. It might not dry that way though. I'm gonna add a little bit of this gloss gel. There we go. That helped. It's really washed out, holy cow. October's on having a great day. You won the sub, met a bunch of new people. Your coworker gave you a gift card. Take your wife out to dinner. That's awesome. Orthober, I'm so glad. 
Never forget September 26th, the day you came to show she's chat. <laughs> yeah, don't forget, Mike says that if you got gifted, if you got gifted a sub, you can actually extend it for another month for just a dollar, which is really nice because it's like basically you're like helping my channel out for a, just a dollar, but I get the full amount, but also you get to keep all those emotes. You get to keep being a subscriber. We're keep going to keep doing subscriber giveaways. We're doing all these dark sword minis. Check this out. Oh, Mike, can you fix the the brightness? Focus first. That's, that's it? Yeah, we're not going to fine tune it more because it's... <laughs> you can't? You can't? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. So this is a Dark Sword Mini. He's a tortoise druid. I'm going to eventually probably give him away. Not today, though, because he's already painted. Painted minis are special. Those are definitely sub only. Yep, sub only. But yeah, let's see. Blib, 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 blib. This is not drying how I hoped it would dry, so I'm gonna put some more, more gloss medium on it. Yay, Imperium, thank you for the subscription. Imperium001. This is awesome. Look at all these new... We that have, was a gift from Trillian. Aw, Trillian, you're such a sweetie. You've given four subs in this channel. That is mad love. Mad love to Trillian and hype for our new subscriber, Imperium 01. So nice. Gnome. Type gnome, guys. Imperium, type gnome so you can win a gnome. <laughs> you can win nine gnomes, actually. Yeah, there's like nine minis in here. <laughs> Imperium, are you from Australia by any chance? I'm just curious because I know Australians use heaps. They say heaps. All right, I'm looking for eyeballs to paint. I think I'm gonna make a bunch of blue ones. Um, I need to make pupils. It doesn't look right unless you have that little round circle around it. Yes, he is Australian. Yay! How'd you know? I told you, Australians say three words that I can always recognize if they're Australian. They say reckon, and I know some Brits say reckon also, but Australians specifically say reckon. They say heaps, and they say fair enough. Good. No, nope, Mike. <laughs> that doesn't count. And they don't all say that either. I know. but I have lots of Aussie mates. And we're actually going to Australia next year in April. I'm so excited. All right, should we wrap this up? Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Well, we got to do the actual winner. Oh, let's do the winner. All right, here we go. I'm so excited. What the follower? That's not a person. Bot? Uh, it's oh, wait. No, it is. Steve, Steve. AMA, Texas. But Didn't Steve, you win the last Steve one? just won. So <laughs> sorry, Steve. You won a plaque. So you're gonna, we're gonna redo it. We're gonna redo it. You gotta put those like caveats on there. Yeah. The I'm sorry, one. but Steve won something really super super cool. So it wouldn't be fair for him to win right again. Okay. Right. Here we go. Repick. Okay. okay. Mandy and Art. Art. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Mandy and Art, just send me your info. If you decide, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve, you got the plaque. Come on. <laughs> Greedy. <painted>. You, know? <laughs> you got the painted plaque, but it's really these unpainted miniatures that he wants. No, he wants the gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that Mandy would trade. <laughs> yeah. um, Mandy, send me your info, and I will get these to you. And if you live in the um, U.S., I'll just send them right to you. If not, let me know if you want to pay shipping. Otherwise, we'll give them away next time. Um, yay. Oh, you want to, I think your bot smelled my username wrong. <laughs> That's funny. How could it be rigged? It's a brand new subscriber. We don't even know them. Yeah, I think it was maybe rigged for the first one. Yeah, <laughs> for Steve. 
<laughs> That's funny. All right, let's look for someone to host. I'm gonna look. I really, really want to see if I can host somebody who is a creative streamer. I love you guys introducing you to, to some of them. K-Pike Fashion is on. She's got a lot of people. Art Vibes is on. Let's see what they're doing. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Um, yep, Art Vibes. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna host. She is a digital artist. It looks like she's painting this really cute, I think it looks like a, a woodchuck. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go. Woodchuck, yep, W-O-O-D. Let's do Mad Love, so we're gonna, we're gonna raid her with some Mad Love. Here's the Mad Love to cut and paste. Oops, O-V-E, there we go. And then here's the raid. I think it's slash raid, right? Yes. Okay, let's do it right. There we go. We're we're set. Cut and paste. We're gonna do Mad Love. We're gonna spam our chat, and I'm gonna send this out to Mandy. Thank you so much, Mandy and Art. I'm glad everybody could make it, and we will see you on Friday from 2:30 to 4:30 GMT minus five, which is Central Time. So I hope to see you. Yes, <laughs> I am some sort of rebel. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>